Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you about how to receive what you want from God. How to receive what you need from God. Amen. What you want or need. And you can do this. People know how to receive. There are people who receive anything they want or need because they know how to do it. I'm going to show you how they do that. How Kenneth Copeland receives from God. Huh? Is that good? These people, Kenneth Copeland, Creflo Dollar, these people, they know how to receive from God. That it, Would you like to do what they do? Huh? How Brother Hagin used to receive from God before he went to be with God. Amen. I mean, these people know, knew, they know, and they knew how to get. Oral Roberts, you know, Kenneth Copeland always talked about how Oral Roberts would get everything he needed from God when they were out on the road. I'm going to show you how they do that. Amen. There's a way they do it. They, it's, it's not just happenstance. It's not just because God picks them out to give things to. They know how to do this. Say this with me on this happy Wednesday. Tonight's fellowship night. We're going to have lasagna, some mac and cheese, and some uh, salad, some sauce of the apple. That's applesauce. And all kinds of good stuff. And a wonderful dessert to be determined today. Amen. We'll, we'll pick something out really nice. But say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everybody likes me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Everything I do succeeds. Everything I touch turns to gold. Start talking like that about yourself. Watch what happens. This book, Faith, is where the message today comes from. Also, I wanted to tell you, if you need prayers answered today, call me. I love to pray with God's people. This is the most unique prayer ministry in the country because it's the only large... I got a hair out of place. There it is. There we go. It's the only large ministry in the country where the minister actually answers the phone. Amen? Wouldn't you like to be able to talk to some of these people? People call and go, Pastor Jim, is that really you? I answer the phone. No switchboards, no secretaries to go through. Now, we have all kinds of people here, but I answer the phone because I love to pray with God's people. Amen? Our message today is out of this book. Also, make sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations today because I want to speak the word-for-word word blessing over you. Word-for-word. Word. Amen. On page 45 of the faith book, we're going to talk about the chapter is Faith to Receive. How to Receive. How Kenneth Copeland Receives from God. Amen. And he does. I mean to tell you, he gets everything he needs. Amen. I want to tell you about, number one, some facts. God never picks out people to save, heal, or bless. If you need to receive from God, God never looks at your need. God is not moved by your needs. Now, people, nobody likes that. Nobody likes that. That is the exact opposite of what a lot of people believe. God is not moved by need. I write in my books. This is my book, my faith book. I read one of these books every week because God spoke to me two years ago and he said, if somebody will read one of these books every week, they will live in absolute abundance. I said, okay. I started, and, and I do. 
For two years, I've done exactly what God said to do. And we are living in absolute abundance, folks. Glory to God. I am here to tell you God's word works. It works, it works, it works. God never picks out people to save, heal, or bless. God is not moved by your needs. And people don't want to believe that. They want to be, well, Lord, I need this. No. Just because you need something doesn't mean you get it. Amen. If that was the case, nobody would ever die and go to hell. Because everybody who's not saved needs salvation. Everybody who is broke needs money. Everybody who is sick needs to be healed. They don't get what they need, folks. Most of them don't get what they need. Because God doesn't pick out people to do that. Everything you receive from God, we receive according to our faith. Jesus said to the two blind men in Matthew 9, 29, he said, be it unto you according to your faith. So we have to connect in faith. Now there's some different ways to do this. There's an easy way to do this. Amen. I'm going to tell you that today too. Because I, because while you're, while you're building this up, I want you to be able to get what you need right away. Amen. Number uh, three, owning something and possessing something are two different things. God gave the children of Israel the promised land when he gave it to Abraham. The promised land belonged to the children of Abraham. But for 400 years, they worked as slaves in Egypt, even though they owned the promised land. Then they came out, walked around in the desert for 40 years, 40 more years, even though they owned the promised land. Most of them died in the desert owning the promised land. Then God raised up a new generation full of faith, full of power, who went across the raging river on dry land shouted down the walls, killed the giants, and possessed the promised land. They possessed it. God said, go in and possess it. Joshua said to the some of the tribes, he said, how long are you going to wait to possess what God has given you? So owning something and possessing something are two different things. Paul told Timothy, he said, lay hold of eternal salvation. You have got to, and eternal salvation is a promise of God. You have got to lay hold. You got to gra grab it. You got to grab a hold of what belongs to you. Amen. The righteous take it by force. Amen. There are two different ways to receive from God. Through your faith or the faith of somebody else. That's the easy way to do it. The easy way to do it. Kenneth Copeland will receive from his faith. Creflo Dollar will receive from his faith. How Kenneth Copeland and Creflo Dollar receive from God? I'm telling you what, folks. These people know how to do it. Creflo was diagnosed with cancer. Well, I'm not talking out of school. He, he has talked about this. Now, I, I know all about it because I listen to him. Amen. He's one of the people I listen to. So he went in a room. He, he, he wasn't getting healed. He didn't get healed when his family prayed for him. His church prayed for him. People came in and prayed for him. So he went in a room. He said, I am going to get healed. He said, when it's time to eat, knock on the door once. If I don't come out, just leave me alone. He was in there two weeks. He came out completely healed. Went back to the doctor, went to a friend of his who happened to be a radiologist. They did a scan of him and there was no sign of cancer. And he has been perfectly cancer free since. What he did was he knows how to approach God. He demanded that God heal him. He listened to healing messages. 
He recited healing verses out loud all day long. And he was in there all day long doing this for two weeks. And he connected with God. You have to connect. You have to connect. <clears throat> and he connected. And what he did, God healed him. I did that one day when I had a kidney stone years ago. Seven o'clock in the morning, I started saying, Lord, your word says I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. Now you heal me. I held the Bible up in the air so God could see it. How many of you know God can see the Bible better if you hold it up? Because he's up there. Do you believe that? I don't. He can see it anyway. He knows what's in it. But I showed him. I said, now you heal me. I'm a covenant person. And I mean, I went on and on from 7 o'clock in the morning till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It got so loud and so intense in that house, Mary left. I was standing on the couch yelling, now you heal me. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, God spoke to me in an audible voice. He said, I am going to heal you. Go to the party tonight. There will be a woman there. Have her pray. He showed me who it was. Have her pray for you and I will heal you. I went there that night and I found her and I asked her to come outside with me. I said, I have a kidney stone. Pray for me. She put her hand on my back. She said, name it, Jesus, come out of him. Boy, and I mean to tell you, boom. Just like that. That power went into me. Just like God said. But I connected in faith. I did it that time. But then I combined my faith with hers. God wanted her faith to heal me. Oh, my goodness, folks. God is so amazing. <clears throat> so wonderful. But you got to connect. <clears throat> you got to get down. Get down and connect. This is how Kenneth Copeland does it. I'm telling you what, folks. When he needs something, he will go to the Lord and say, now you give it to me right now. Let's go. And he does. I'm a covenant person. He'll remind God of every night before I go to bed. I remind God that I'm a covenant person. I say, my name is Jim E. Kibler, and I am a covenant person. Now you bless me and you give me favor tonight while I sleep. And he does. He does. I remind God every night I'm a covenant person before I go to sleep. I want that blessing flowing over me and that favor of God flowing over me at night while I sleep. And it does. Because I'm a covenant person. I tell God that all the time. If I need something the next day, I'll go, hey, I'm a covenant person. Let's go. And he goes. That's how Kenneth Copeland does it. That's how Creflo does it. I'm telling you what, folks, this is no secret. In the meantime, I'm running out of time, so I got to get to this. If you need something, you call me. I will use my faith to get what you need for you, which I can do. Amen? Jesus used his faith to heal those people. Amen? I use my faith to get people healed all the time. Peter used his faith to heal people. Paul used his faith to heal people. Amen? Amen? God does miracles through people. Amen. He never just does something. Everything God does, he does through a person. In Ezekiel chapter 37, God brought the children of Israel back from the valley of the dry bones through Ezekiel. God does, he did those, those miracles, those signs and wonders for the children of Israel through Moses. He parted the Red Sea through Moses. He does everything through people. I'm out of time. You call me today, especially if you do your offerings and donations, because I want to speak that blessing over you in faith, folks. The word-for-word -word blessing that is supposed to be spoken over. And then I expect God will bless you just like he said. Amen. Glory to God. Have a wonderful day. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen for you just like it has happened for me.